Welcome everyone, we are back with a camera for today, that's right, just as a proof of survival, I am actually still here, I am not a hologram or an AI software programmed to make videos, it's actually me, and today we are talking about the announcement of Blizzard around the changes for Mythic Plus. These are more important than you would think of. Well, first of all, because they are not just for Season 4, but also for the next expansion, for The War Within. So what we see now coming in Season 4 will be planned to come out in The War Within. Of course, it might come with some adjustments, with some changes after, after observing how it is received in Season 4 of Dragonflight, but the general idea is to have this new system for Mythic Plus. Now, the tldr -S of the TLDR for this system is that Blizzard is taking Mythic Plus 2 all the way up to Mythic Plus 10, deleting them completely and making Mythic 0 the equivalent in difficulty of a Mythic plus 10. And then they are bringing Mythic 0 difficulty in heroic dungeons, with normal dungeons untouched. So now the new, the new curve of dungeons will be normal dungeon, which are the same, heroic dungeons, which are now Mythic 0 dungeons, and Mythic 0 dungeons, which are now a Mythic plus 10 key without affixes, without a timer, and without any of the restrictions of not being able to change gear, not being able to change talents, etc, etc. Blizzard gives us their, their change from now to Season 4, and as they point out, 11.0. You see, normal stays the same, but Heroic gets advanced. Heroic becomes the equivalent of Mythic Zero. And then you see that Mythic Zero jumps all the way in difficulty as a Mythic plus 10 key, except it's not timed. Except it's it's just like some players mentioned, the wish of wanting Mythic plus keys without a timer. Some players being afraid, deathly afraid of the go, go, go mentality and of people rushing all the time. Well, now they have the answer, now they have their wish, now they can go into Mythic plus 10 level difficulty keys, except they are not timed, except they are basically like an old school dungeon. Blizzard gives, of course, their explanations. They point out how heroic dungeons are barely distinct from normal dungeons nowadays. Mythic Zero dungeons rapidly lose relevance after a few weeks into the expansion, once, once Mythic Plus is fully rolling in the season, and that the only truly endgame mode is Mythic Plus and it revolves around the timer. So there is actually a place for endgame players who enjoy a more methodical dungeon pacing and gameplay. So that was their logic behind getting rid of a whole bunch of useless Mythic Plus key levels. Because if you think about it, all these key levels, you know, plus 6, plus 8, plus 4, you know, these places get, get deserted deeper into a season, right? They, they, they get abandoned, players start just leapfrogging them, past completely, so those key levels at the very bottom becomes quite a, quite a drag to go through. So now it's, it's cool that the Mythic Plus key levels get shrunk significantly and you get to, you get to ban all of those early level keys into Mythic Zero. It will have an interesting impact, to be honest, in, uh, in the release of the expansion, because we are used, when the expansion is released, to farm Mythic Zero dungeons for a couple of weeks before Mythic Plus open. Now, in the next expansion, farming Mythic Zero before Mythic Plus opens would mean being able to do a Mythic Plus 10, which might be harder than, than what it is now, but this should definitely be much better for many players who don't tend to try to hard in Mythic Plus, but still would enjoy the experience of a dungeon without a timer, but still somewhat challenging, not a complete face roll like, uh, like Heroic Dungeons or even Mythic Zero Dungeons are. So it's a, good, it's a good change, which, as some players mentioned, mistakenly mentioned, well, this doesn't change anything for me you know for basically anyone who is above 1000 1200 mythic plus rating right now this is irrelevant you know as long as you were basically as long as you were doing plus 11 or plus 12 keys regularly right now this changes nothing for you the only thing that changes is that in season 4 you will be doing mythic plus 2 or mythic plus 3 level keys instead of 12 or 13 but the result is the same However, however, there is something quite relevant for many players who are already employing this strategy right now. Right now, the Mythic Plus affixes come at plus 2, and then plus 7, 
and then plus 14. Now, why is this relevant? This is relevant, of course, because if you want to farm the potentially best gear available in Mythic Plus, you have to go for the hero track gear, which comes at a plus 18 level, right? We have to get to, to into that range of keys to guarantee the item dropping at 467 item level, which can then upgrade it all the way up to 483 through the hero track gear. Even if you want the item coming from the Great Vault, if you want a mid-track item from the Great Vault, doing an 18 is enough to have those in the Vault. What changes now? What changes is that we are going from Mythic Plus 2, 7, 14, in where you get your Mythic Plus affixes, into Mythic 2, 5, and 10. Now, this is relevant because the, the, the equivalent of Mythic 2, 5, and 10 right now would be the equivalent of a plus 12, a plus 15, and a plus 20. This is relevant because if you put the third affix of Mythic Plus coming from a plus 20 Mythic Plus key level, it means that now you can farm hero gear in Mythic Plus in an 18, get yourself the mid track gear in the vault in an 18 without the third affix in your keys. Now you can, in Season 4 and in the next expansion, you can spam, you know, spam, farm for max item level gear in Mythic Plus only with two Mythic Plus affixes. That is the biggest difference you're getting in this set of changes. For everyone who was already clearing keys past plus 10 keys, right, all of this will change absolutely nothing. The only thing you will notice is that you will be doing, instead of doing plus 25 keys, you will be doing plus 15. Instead of doing plus, plus 21 keys, you will be doing plus 11 keys. But besides that, nothing really should change for you. Except for those who were planning on farming those early level high keys to get you your mid track gear from the vault or your, your hero gear from the dungeon loot of Mythic Plus. Now you can do it with two affixes instead of three. That is the main change coming from this system. And it seems to be, of course, intentional. It seems to be planned from Blizzard. They even gave us the, the, new, the, new, the new list of item levels, even with the Season 4 item levels right here for easy comparison. You can see that the Mythic Plus 10, as Blizzard mentioned, is when the third affix will come in play. And this is the new Season Mythic Plus 10. And you can see that the rewards of Mythic Plus 10 begin around here. Mythic Plus 9 and up is when you will be able to get Hero 2 out of 6 gear. But you can see here, Mythic Plus 7 and Plus 8 in Season 4, Mythic Plus 7 and Plus 8 will be enough to give you Hero gear. Plus 7 and Plus 8, which is the equivalent of a 17 or an 18 now. But a 17 or an 18 now already have the third affix available because the third affix comes in at plus 14 level right now. In season 4, the third affix will come up in here, which means you can now farm hero upgrade track gear from the dungeon loot as well as the mid track coming from the great vault without having to deal with the third affix in Mythic Plus. That is actually the biggest change from this entire system. This might get actually some players even more annoyed because effectively what this change does is making acquiring the highest possible level of Mythic Plus gear with even less effort because now the highest possible level of gear in Mythic Plus will be available just with two affixes in a key, not even with three. So it's essentially rewarding you still with Mythic raiding quality gear because you get hero item level, which can be upgraded all the way up to 483, which is the starting item level of the first half Mythic raiding bosses. And you can get this in Season 4 with just two affixes in your Mythic Plus key, right? And you can get from the Great Vault, you can, get, you can get the same item level rewards as, you know, killing Mythic last bosses of a raid. And now all of this can be obtained with just two affixes in your Mythic Plus key. All of this, all of this, let, let, let's, just, let's just load up a little bit on Hopium. I have Liquid Hopium this time around. It's quality grade professionally crafted hopium this is possibly making sense if blizzard was planning in the next expansion maybe not season four 
let's just leave season four as a test run but if in the next expansion they were planning to extend these rewards right so if they were planning to extend the level of keys in which you can get rewards in mythic plus then lowering the early levels in here to make them available with only a couple of affixes in a key makes sense because now you can actually reward players for doing the equivalent right now in season three of plus 22s plus 24s plus 26 plus 28s and continue to give rewards that way then it would make somewhat sense if you were shrinking down the earliest you can get rewards in mythic plus now in hero track gear without a third affix but if that were not to happen if that were to remain the exact same as this season so rewards of mythic plus stop at plus 20 which is now gonna mean rewards of mythic plus stop at plus 10 in season 4 if that were to stay the exact same then this effectively has just made uh, mythic plus rewards even easier to obtain it has put it at an even bigger advantage than mythic raiding and raiding in general because this is a big as i mentioned it's a big boost to being able to get the best gear from mythic plus without as much of a difficulty since you are essentially losing a third of your affixes in your mythic plus key so it's even easier now in season 4 to get good gear from mythic plus this was the announcement for today when it comes to the changes to the dungeons of season 4. Most of them were quite positive, were quite good for the low, lower level player base to get more players maybe to try dungeons, to try, you know, more, more difficult dungeons, to get more used to dangerous mechanics, to the concepts of interrupts and CC and focusing targets, because now in a mythic zero you can't just face roll it that easily anymore it's gonna be the equivalent of a plus 10 so at least it requires some some level of challenge compared to before without a timer without the stress of a timer etc etc so i think so i think it's definitely a good idea it's also a very good idea to be shrinking essentially shrinking mythic plus key levels by 10 because now the gap between keys will be shorter. It will be easier to find groups in between keys because if, if you shrink the level of keys, instead of having 100 possible keys, if you only have 10 possible keys, the amount of players funneled in each key is going to be much larger. So it's going to be easier to find groups of players in certain key levels compared to now. So overall, I think it's a definitely a good set of changes all around with the question mark. With the question mark about that um, that third affix in mythic plus coming only at mythic plus 10 level so that players can now in season 4 farm plus 8 which is the equivalent of a plus 18 and get themselves hero track item level gear from mythic plus without having to interact with the third affix in mythic plus that's the only the only question mark about these changes but besides that it's all good it's all good let me guys know of course what you think about these changes if you liked most of these not liked most of these if you had some some pet peeves to point out about these changes but besides this we are now going to leave each other on this wednesday reset day in eu without the release of 10.2.6 unfortunately we have to wait another week so thanks of course as usual to all of the patreon supporters for the contribution and the help to the god of the channel which can as usual also be given completely for free like for example liking and commenting down below as well as subscribing to the channel itself now with these pointless things out of the way thank you guys again for watching see you guys tomorrow and in the meantime what do you want me to say